I'm Anil Kumar. I'm sharing some selected questions from previous test paper and making few for you to review and practice. Here is question number 14. A ball is thrown 7.8 meters into the air. The ball falls and rebounds to 68% of its previous height, then falls again. Part A is, find the total distance the ball travels until it hits the ground for the eighth time. And part B is, if the ball were allowed to continue bouncing forever, how far would it travel? So these are the two questions for you. You are allowed the calculators and the formulas are also given to you. So you can actually pause the video, answer the question. Uh, let me write down your formulas. So here we are given a ball that is thrown and we need to find the total height. And since it is a geometric series, as you can clearly see here, every time it is 68% of the previous amount. So it is indeed a geometric series. So for a geometric series, we have to find total distance and also the distance which it travels when n is infinity, right? So that is, so you need two formulas. So the first formula for the total distance for a geometric series is first term a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. And the second, when when n approaches infinity, very large, r over n approaches 0. So in that case, the sum for infinite number of terms will be equals to a over 1 minus r. Right? So these are the two formulas for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's first understand the question itself. A ball is thrown so many meters into the air. So let's assume that the ball is thrown from the ground. Okay, so, so we'll just kind of sketch the scenario. So let me just throw the ball like this, uh, goes up and comes down. Okay, so it'll rebound. It goes 7.8 meters. So this height for you is 7.8 meters. Okay, time t first bounce, right? Number of bounces. First bounce will be here, right? First bounce will be here. Then it will go up and uh, only goes up to 68%, slightly more than 50% and comes down. So that is the second time it hits the ground. So second and then goes up and third time goes up. Fourth time goes up. Fifth, sixth, seventh, Eight. Okay, this is kind of bigger. Anyway, so eight times, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight times. So we want total length, which is shown here. This is what we want. You will observe that it has two types of lengths. One is rising and one is falling, right? So it has two types of lengths, which is rise and then fall, right? Rise plus fall. Now both are equal. So we can say two times fall. Is it okay? So we'll find the length of only falling times since both are equal, right? So we can actually multiply by two. So S of n, it is kind of geometric series where we are starting with 7.8. So the series is 7.8 and then we need to add 7.8 times it goes rebounds back to 68 percent right so r is 68 percent right so so it is um, uh, times uh, uh, 0.68 right 0.668 and then again it is uh, 7.8 times 0 0.68 uh, times 0 0.68 so i'll write this as square and plus so on do you see that and the last term will be this is the third term will be 7.8 times 0 0.68 to the power of 8 minus 1 which is 7 correct so that becomes your geometric series right and we want to find some of this series so that is uh, s of n right this is all falling 
what I have done here is we have rising and falling. Is it okay? So we will multiply this by 2. To take care of rise plus fall. Do you understand? So that is what we have done. So this is very critical to understand. And then we can always substitute values in the formula and calculate the answer. right? So, so our answer will be S of n equals to 2 times all this. And this is equals to 2 times. We'll substitute the values. Let me use another ink here. I could have done here. Okay. So let's do it here on this side. So let's do it here. So we have Sn equals to, uh, as I've said here, 2 times. So 2 times sum of this series using the formula first term is 7.8 so let me write like this okay that's better so it is 7.8 times 1 minus r is 6 0 0.68 to the power of n there are uh, 8 times 8 times is n right so it goes to the power of n divided by 1 minus 0 0.68 is it okay so that is what you get now let's use the calculator and find the answer right so what we have here is uh, so we'll do first inside the bracket then multiply by 2 okay 7.8 within brackets 1 minus 0.68 to the power of 8 right bracket close and let's say equal to and then we'll divide by this term right divide by within brackets 1 minus 0 0.68 bracket close equals to 23.26 now multiply by 2 right so times 2 equals to so it gives us a value which is 46.5 let's round it to 46.5 approximately right and the units are meters so that becomes your answer for the part A, right? Now let's find the solution for part B. The formula for infinite number of times will be 2 times, okay, 2 times A over 1 minus R, that is 2 times A is 0 0.78. We're talking about falling times, right? Over 1 minus 0 0.68, is it okay? So let's calculate this. So we have uh, 2 times 0.78 divided by, within brackets, 1 minus 0.68, bracket close, right, equals to, and uh, decimal values for what happened. So something is wrong, uh, oh I'm sorry, this is not 0.78 it will be 7 point I'm sorry this is 7.8 so let's redo so obviously we'll get 48.75 meters let's redo 7.8 right not 0.78 so again let me do it 2 times 7.8 divided by within bracket 1 minus 0.68 bracket close equals to in decimals 48.75 right so slightly more than the 8 terms do you see that so that's the answer for the second part. So that is how you should be doing it. So the important thing here to understand is that when you're talking about rising and falling, to simplify the question, in this particular case, we could say that num distance traveled while rising is same as by falling, right? And therefore, we could use two times the series. Secondly, if n is very large, then r to the power of n is approaching zero especially even r in fact if r is less than one right if r is less than one let me write here if r is less than i mean r is less than one because then only it converges right otherwise the series will have infinite sum right so i'm anil kumar i hope all this helps you a lot if you like you can subscribe my videos and share them with your friends thank you and all the best